So today people I bring you details on the next DLC for this game and it sounds like we are in for a treat. How's it going guys my name's DPG and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also guys before we go any further for all your gaming needs no matter the platform you play on. At amazing prices and incredible weekly discounts, check out G2A, linked within that video description. So details people, we have details and information on the third DLC installment for Borderlands 3. So guys, on June 25th, on this date, write this down, we get the third DLC which is called Bounty of Blood, a fistful of redemption. So as with the previous two campaign add-ons, the Moxis Heist of the Handsome Jackpot and Guns Loving Tentacles, the Bounty of Blood features an all new setting. But, and this is a big but, unlike those add-ons, here your Vault Hunter will interact with an entirely new cast of characters as an unseen narrator commentates your adventure. This alone sounds absolutely incredible people, an all new setting with a cast of new characters. Expanding on what we already know is a more than welcomed addition in my opinion for sure. So we will travel the harsh desert planet of Johanna to claim a bounty on the Devil Riders, a vicious gang of bandits that's been terrorising the small town of Vestige. Along your way you run into fresh faces like Rose, a warrior who's adept with pistol katana alike, and Juno, a rough and tumble brawler with a checkered past. Your actions will have a direct impact on the Vestige and denizens, as you build the town back up through story missions and crew challenges alike. Sounds awesome for sure people but the details don't end there. Bounty and Blood also features several gameplay additions, like the customizable Jet Blast Hoverbike, which will help you traverse the open plains quickly and can be outfitted with artillery like dual machine guns and mortar weapons. You'll also find four brand new interactive objects that will aid you in combat and exploration. The Traitor Weed, for example, can temporarily turn enemies into allies when shot, while the Breeze Bloom will boost your Vault Hunter to great heights so you can reach otherwise out of reach areas. And of course there's loads of new loot to chase after, including plenty of western themed weaponry. So you guys the third installment, the third campaign add-on. For sure in my opinion, sounds like it could possibly be the best yet. To be honest, I never really asked the question of what DLC do you guys prefer, Moxie's Heist or the Guns Love and Tentacles? And what if any element of these DLCs would you hope to see return with the Bounty of Blood, a fistful of redemption? This western themed expansion which brings a new setting and a whole host of new characters. Now obviously it's early days yet, this DLC is still a month away, or just a little over a month away from this video being uploaded, so we will see many many more details dropped, and as usual guys I will have you covered as soon as any of those details do indeed drop. But yeah let me know what you think about what we know so far. Do you like the sound of it so far? Are you hyped about this? I mean going off the previous two DLC campaign add-ons, I think we should be because they are, let's face it, great DLCs and they do add a lot to the game. Now I posted a video covering the new takedown which if you missed you'll find that linked within the video description. We have many new details on that too which comes relatively soon, I think it's early June, which is the next free addition to the game. Again that is linked within the video description. But yeah guys let me know what you think about the details we know on the third DLC to the game. Bounty of Blood, A Fistful of Redemption. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.